Hey guys, uh, Bing here. Uh, yesterday we modeled a very simple charts and use the attach top tool. And today I'm going to show you how to model a a charts. Just use some trigonometry formula. Okay, so let's start. First, create a general. Oh no, no, not generic model. Sorry. Create a, a structural truss. Okay, and top core, I'll just draw it like this because we don't necessarily need to have same angle, so we can have a roof with different pitch on each side. Okay, so and also bottom core here to here and. Okay, so that's it. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Uh, we need some angle. Okay, so angle dimension. And then create a angular parameter. So we can control the angle here. So an instance. And here, create an angular bay. So now we have two angular parameter. And that's it. Ah, no. So let's just have a look um, in create a project. So draw some wall and I'll just change the height to um, number one and then load this truss into this project. I'll draw I'll place one here to here. So go back to 3D view and change the height to so level one with zero offset. Okay, so this truss, if you don't worry about, so see this truss height. If you go back to the, this, so you will, will see that this truss height actually means nothing. It it needs to, to be there because uh, it's a um, it's a built-in, so if you edit it, you will see it's a built-in parameter. It's a, you can't delete it. It has to be there even, you know, it's not mean anything but so this is sometimes it will be a bit confusing so because when you see uh, when you select this chart there's a height here and you type in a number and just and wonder why it's not changing at all so um, yeah we can't do anything to it so if you so for example you can change the angle so uh, 10 degrees 20 degrees, 10 degrees, 20 degrees. If you don't worry about the height, if you don't want to know what the height is, that's it. That's that's the family. And then you probably want some web, uh, and yeah, you can just add them. Okay, but um, of course, um, of course, uh, we're going to use some trigonometry to calculate the height of this truss okay so let's do it uh, go back to this truss family so i'm going to just uh, okay let's do some mess okay so i'll i'll cre uh, create a screenshot and let's write some formula so first i'm going to draw this triangular shape okay so this is the truss so we know that this angle is a this angle is b right and we also know that this truss length i'll call it l okay and then the height if i can so draw this line 90 degree so this will be the height i'll call it h so what we need to do is we need to calculate the H from L, A, and B. Okay, so let's do it. So first, uh, this this one, let's call it L1, and this, let's call it L2. Okay, so the first formula is L1 plus L2 equals L. Okay, so what is L1? 
let's have a look of this triangular shape. So this is uh, so um, what's that called? Right angle triang triangle or 90 degree. And then we know that um, in this triangle, we know this angle A, so which means tangent A equals H divided by L1. So L1 equals H divided by tangent A. Okay. Um, same, let's do L2. So in this triangle, tangent B equals H divided by L2. So L2 equals H divided by tangent B. Okay, so now we put this into here and we put this into here we get a formula H divided by tangent A plus H divided by tangent B equals L okay so now if I times Time taking a time, uh, times taking b to each side, so this will become h times tangent b plus h times tangent a. Um, equals L times tangent A times tangent B. Oh, it's so hard to, to write with my mouse here. Yeah. Maybe I need to borrow a pen. Okay, so um, now let's continue. So, um, so H, H, we have this H times bracket tangent tangent B plus tangent A equals equals this L times tangent A times tangent B. So H equals here tangent I'll just write from A to B okay so tangent A plus tangent B and that L times tangent A times tangent B Okay, so that's it. That's the formula. So um, oh, I can't feel my hand, finger. Oh, okay, so let's. So now we can put this uh, formula. So this into the H. So uh, oh, sorry, we don't, we still we haven't created the H yet. So create create a height. Um, um, here let me just explain we are not going to use this trust height this build in parameter so if you go back um, two days i have a formula oh sorry not formula i have a video talking about that um, so it won't work okay so two days back you can find that video so instead of using this trust height the build in Parameter. I'm going to create a new one. So I'll call it um, trust height cal calc something like that. Okay. So instance. Okay. And here I'm going to type in that uh, formula. So L times tangent A times tangent B divided by tangent 
touching A plus touching B. So bracket L, which is trust length times T A N 10 touching A 10 oh, sorry times 10 B and bracket and divide by bracket uh, tangent bracket A bracket plus or uh, plus tangent B bracket bracket yes so this is a formula okay and if I apply so it looks like it's a 747.9 let's check so I'll just draw something maybe draw a web a747.6 is that right yes so if I click OK load this back to the project and let's have a look so this trust this trust so now we can so just ignore this trust height because it won't make any difference even if you're typing a different number but so see this trust height calc which we created to uh, report that the trust height so let's um, I'll just do a, a spot elevation at, at roughly this point. Okay. Yep. So let's have a look. Uh, yeah, of course, plus the four meter high. Yeah. So because this uh we the truss is uh placing at level one, which is four meter high from the ground floor so let's uh, maybe I'll just um, project relevant so if you change it to level one you can see this is the relative height from the uh, level zero of this truss so you can see just match that okay so if I change the angles of, for example 30 and 30 tell me 3551 is high okay so that's it um, another example of Charles family but this time we don't need to use attached top we use two angular parameter to control the angle and then we also use uh, some formula to report the height of this truss okay so if you have any question please let me know I'll see you no 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 it's not finished yet it's not finished so um let's just quickly add some uh, web okay so go back to this uh, trust family uh, so maybe uh, i'm thinking about adding a vertical and then a, a diagonal and vertical and diagonal something like that okay so let's quickly do it so first web so i'll just draw a vertical one this one so and then um, we need to find out where where the because I wanted to equal this um, the web so I'm going to draw two reference plan here and another two here so and we still we don't have a reference plan a reference plan for this point this actual this vertical one so I'm going to just draw it roughly here and then dimension them equal and also dimension them and equal okay so now we need a dimension from this this is supposed to be at this point but I draw it here so uh, so you can see it okay so now previously we 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 use this um, as L1 in the formula but we don't we haven't created any parameter so okay so, so now we can create it L1 let's call it L1 instance OK and because we know that L1 equals tangent A equals equals the trust 
trust height divided by L1. Okay, so we can get L1 L1 equals um, L1 equals let me think trust height calc divided by tangent A. Apply. So as soon as I click apply, you will see this match this. Uh, so which means it's correct. Okay. So now we can draw the rest of the web. So so start from here, so here, and just you just need to pick the intersection point, and then another vertical one, and another. Okay. So same to here to oops let me control Z just need make sure because previously it's a it shows me a perpendicular so it's a cross it should be a cross see okay so vertical and another see it's a perpendicular one right just zoom in until you find this cross so now that's that's it um. Yeah, you probably want a different shape, but this just uh, I just uh, roughly draw it. I will load this into the project. See, that's it. And then if we change the the angle, yep, still work. Cool. So that's it. Um, let me know if you have any question. Is that correct? I don't know. Um, anyway, that's it. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Maybe we need another vertical. Yep.